So when you're harvesting willows, the nice thing about it is you don't need a knife. All you've got to do is take at the bend and bend down and pull and they come right off. And then you just clean up the stem the same way. I've taken some of those willow shoots and cut them into about all oh, three inch lengths and I've done six of them. The bigger ones I am going to put a split in the middle and then I'm going to run three of them through the three split ones in the middle like that and that's going to be the base of what I start my my bull with. I didn't get the smaller one to work very well it just I got it done but it just kept splitting and that splits just too big and I'm not going to trust it. I had to even split the the willows that were going through the other one. This one the willows are whole it's going to be easy to flex and bend and to get manipulated. So that's how I've started three through three split. So I've taken a small willow branch and I've started going in and out and through so First I wrapped it this way to give it support, then I bent these all out, and these all out. Now I'm starting to go weave in and out of every single one. So I just take my first thin willow branch and I tuck it in one of those splits, then I just start weaving in and out and in. And as if you notice that we have an even number of stick sticking out you can't have an even number otherwise you'll start lashing over the top of your lash you'll start following instead of weaving and we don't want to do that so we're going to cut and add an, another stick in there and that'll put us on an odd number so now every time we go around it's going to give us an uh instead of following it's going to go oh, and it's going to become a weave so i'm going to like i said cut that down just a little bit Get it to go through and kind of match up lengthwise and then i'll keep weaving on this there we have a start and i'm trying to get them evened out now and i end up taking that seventh one out i just think i'm gonna drop every fifth one so that i don't have to deal with evens i just couldn't get that fifth one to look right so or that extra stick i was trying to put in so we'll see how it goes now once i've got it established and I think it's looking okay. It's not going to be a beautiful piece, but um, now I'm going to start adding two on each one of these sticking out so that I can continue to build and get wider and wider and have the support in between each spoke here. That's what it looks like once you've got all of them added in. And that takes up any of the slack that's down here in this stuff. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but you know, it's a rough pull. So we'll start moving before too long. We'll just start moving these up and that will be our, our start to our bowl. Just keep on going until it's done. Well, there it is. It's not the prettiest basket in the world. But you can see how it was started. And so once I got my spikes or the, the spokes, I came around the corner, kept weaving it in, weaving it in. Once I got them to where I wanted them, so I just folded them over and made them part of the weave and then added some more willow into it. And it's not perfect but it's not really meant to be, just a nice gathering bowl.